So, this is my first Mass FX tutorial. I am Ghost Fortress and I'm going to show you how to make this sound today. So as you can hear, it is a very kind of hissing, rolly, kind of squeechy one and it is all made in the new Massive X synthesizer plus some third party effects. The first one you need is <laughs> by Exifa. This one is for free. Second one is uh, actually just a saturator. It is called Sausage Fetner by Dada Life yeah. but you basically can use uh, any kind of saturation in your DAW. The last effect you need is the Exifa Serum X FX version. Last but not least you need just a simple EQ. I'm going to share you this preset I made called the Medic. You can find it in the description and can download and use it for free. Cool! Just for little reverse engineering purposes, I just took an LFO, put this LFO actually only on the volume, on the wavetable, a bit of the band. Also boosting the mid frequencies and shifting around the frequency, but it's actually not needed. Some filter, a little bit of distortion, that's kind of it. More the most important thing are two of three macros. The macro number nine is applied on the pitching and on the gorilla modulation called over. The second macro is set to the PM1, which is the face modulation one. It makes the sound also a bit squeechy. The last macro is put on the band of the Gola. This just gives a bit of variation in the sound, but actually nothing special. This is it for the reverse engineering part, and now I'm going to show you how it sounds. So basically it doesn't sound really that good, but we will fix this now. First thing you need is the OTT from Xifer. When first loaded, the sound is really good compressed by this, but uh, the volume is not really that noticeable. So first thing you're gonna do is adjusting the output gain, like about 9.1 dB, and the upward compression 44%. Next thing you're going to do is put some saturation on the roll. As I said, Sausage Fettner is just a saturator and it's a really strong one, that's why I bought it. This is just like the knob for the amount of saturation, while this makes it a bit more present, like a high travel EQ. If you don't have this one, then try out putting some saturation from your door and duplicate it. Last thing you need is the All Passes filter from Zero, so you can find it here, MISC, and then All Passes. Put then the cutoff on 61Hz, resonance on 50%, drive at about 70%, the damp on about 21%, pan stays in the middle and mix all the way up. For those who are interested, the All Passes filter from Xeom is like a really stingy and crazy filter which has a lot of frequencies boosting up. With the resonant you can adjust like the craziness, like uh, makes it a bit more hissing and metallic. The higher the cutoff, the less you can hear this effect, while the lower it is makes a lot of effect. Just play around a bit. The last thing is just a little equalizer, it's nothing special, just boost the high ends a bit. That's it! And let's play back it now. Cool! So this sounds a lot better now and it's very growly. Make it now a bit like squeechy as you were as you were able to hear in the demo, you can do in the macros. So if I play back and adjust these a bit, you can hear the difference. <laughs> As I said, the band makes no difference when this is not pitched up, so let's do this. And on zero again. That's what I'm talking about. So this is my first preset in Massive X. I hope you like it. Here's the simple recreation of the scroll. <laughs> If you found this video helpful, I would appreciate any kind of sharing of this video. So yes, we see us in the next tutorial. Drop. Drop